Michelle's off the crow's nest highway. And we'll promote your chicken a la king as your signature dish. And we can all be in it. A commercial. Hmm. I love it. <gasps> oh my gosh, a real Hollywood commercial. Hollywood isn't all it's cracked up to be, Tanya. One minute you're in an L.A. boardroom surrounded by a bunch of old men kibitzing about how you're the next copper tone baby. The next, your mother's bag of special baby powder gets you banned from every junior beauty pageant in North America. This is exactly how we'll deal with Hank. A commercial would take Michelle's to a whole new level. He'll put us on the map and pump new blood into this place. Now, or bleed us dry. You know how much those things cost? Take it out of my trust fund. That money is our contingency plan, Michelle. This sounds uh, extravagant. Putting Michelle's on the map is my dream. You want to help me make my dreams come true, don't you? Your dream? I'm making your dreams come true. Look at this place. I'm working myself to the bone. What the hell is the matter with you? With me? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I'm fine. Absolutely nothing. I'm okay. Well, then how about you act like it? <laughs> what do you want from me? Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, now try one super sexy. Okay, now try one like, like you smelled some really tasty food. Nice. No, hold the fan up higher. Like this? No, higher. Oh, you're gonna win a Juno for this. Michelle's Renee speaking. What's your special tonight? Uh, spam Chicago with artisanal potatoes. What in the world does artisanal mean? I'll be honest with you. I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, if you run out of plates, can I eat it off your chest? Veronica. Ooh. Say my name again, Slop Daddy. The hell do you want? I'm just looking at our kiss pick. Your tongue. It's like a wool sock dipped in milk. You really should scrub that thing. Don't you call here again. <laughs> not every man has game, Don. It's not something you acquire. You're born with game. Oh, I was born with game. Oh, really? And what game does Alderman Don Alderman play? Do tell. Well, I mean, a man like you must have game up the wazoo to land a woman like Veronica Beauclair. All I needed that night was a little more game than Michael Bublé. We were at a corporate seance for the Vancouver Realtors Association. Veronica was across the dance floor. Heavy coat, enormous hair, scary nails. When Bublé started at a little dance interlude, all I had to do was get into her eye line and show her my moves. Thank you. Gio, what a surprise. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course. I'll need a moment, please, Don. What's happening, Gio? Talk to me. Things at Michelle's didn't go exactly as planned. Oh? She was a little upset about the whole Jumbo Juice thing. I, I had no idea that she's carrying heat these days. Oh. Nice. Go finish what you started. Don't disappoint me again. Now, where were we? Oh, right. 
By the way, there's something else I want to show you, Don. Table for one. Jesus. Walks with me and he talks with me. Um, I need to speak with Michelle. Is she here? You must be Linda. Sorry, but if you're looking for your old job back, we're not accepting resumes from washed up flavor junkies. I'm not here for... Forgiveness? Good. Because you're not gonna get it from me. Felicia, could you... <laughs> well, if it isn't one of Hank's flavor junkies. She already called me that. You did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought I thought of that. You did. But I did too. Oh. <laughs> Look, Hank's copied a bunch of your signature gelatine dishes. He plans on outselling you by starting a special night called Gelatine Jamondays. It, it starts this week. Uh, I just thought you should know. Uh, Linda, wait. I'm sorry, Michelle. Bye, Felicia. Do you need more time with the menu? Oh! <laughs> Everything just looks delicious. It's too hard to decide. Okay, well, if you need more time, I have a few other tables I can go check on. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll just have a hot water with a small twist of citrus. And let's add a spot of honey to the mix. And for dinner? Oh, that's all for now. Okay, I see what's going on here. I'm not leaving until you order something. Well, the Pinot Noir sounds nice. Mm -hmm. It has a hint of plum. I'm allergic to plums. It's a hint of plum, Eric. <laughs> it's a nod to a plum. There are no actual plums floating around in it. <laughs> well, you know I'm allergic to stone fruits. Mm, it's a non-issue. There are no plums in the wine. Well, just like there was no shellfish in the ceviche in Barbados. Wow. Every three weeks, this comes up like clockwork. I spent our honeymoon in a foreign hospital. You win, Eric. You win the blame game once again. I'm not blaming you. Blame implies choice. There's no choice. It was simply your fault. Mm, choice. Yes, choice is nice. I wish I could choose to sleep in on Sundays instead of being dragged to every antique fair between here and Cranbrook. I mean, honestly. How many mid-century modern cutlery sets does one man need? My mother always said you were insufferable. As each day passes by, it truly saddens me to watch you prove her right. Well, I guess we're gonna need a little bit more time to decide on the wine. Mm-hmm, yeah, of course, I'll bring you some samples. And how old is this handsome little man today? He's 58 months. Oh, I love it. Time flies, doesn't it? It sure does. It's been a bit of a tough year for us. Oh, I know, it's been a cold winter. So, we're ready to order? We lost his father last spring. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Perhaps you'd like to try our fish soup? I've heard of it. I'm not interested. Well, if you haven't tried our beef braid, it is to die for. No, thank you. Perhaps I'll consider it after my hot water. You mean your free tea? Excuse me. Listen, you old bag. All right, we got 42 dinner options on the menu, and every single one of them is a bestseller. You're going to order something, and you're going to order it now. Here you go. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> this is the Thomas Dill Estate Blend. Hints of dark chocolate and oak. <laughs> and the grapes are from the Mackenzie Valley. We'll take the whole box. Ah, there she is, officer. Dude, what are you doing? She's the one who assaulted me. What the hell is going on here? Justice. Tauntaun's going back to where she belongs. Michelle. Hello, Linda. <laughs> I'm 
so sorry. I... She had nothing to do with this. It was me. Ignore her. She's just trying to protect the criminal. You'll find an unlicensed firearm strapped to her thigh. Constable O'Brien, please! You shall listen. She's in clear violation of our country's very reasonable gun legislation. I'm not in the business of doing favors. I took a pretty darn serious oath to become a Queen's cowboy back in 08. It wasn't my fault that the NHL wasn't ready for a power forward with the rock-hard hands of Gino Ojic and the fiery footwork of Patrick Chan. I didn't choose the badge. The badge chose me. I guess we're all just gonna have to deal with that. Once a crook, always a crook. Get her out of here, she's awful. Lock her up. 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 Call me an old bag. Lock her up. Lock her up. Throw away the key! Michelle! You're not going to get away with this. I already have, Michelle. I'm a man who gets what he wants. And right now, all this man wants is to see you burn. <laughs> You're not a man. I'm a man, Michelle. Nah. Not a man. I am a man. Nope. I'm a man! Oh. How was your little meeting with Michelle? What? Are you following me, Hank? I told her about Gelatine Jamundes. <laughs> yes. And? And what? Well, what did she say? Nothing. She just seemed upset, I guess. But the look on her face, like, what was it like? I don't know. It was kind of like. So can I get the gas card now? Yeah. There's 100 on this, right? 75. I had to top up. When they go low, you go high. Wise words, Michelle. Michelle's, I'm sorry, we're closed. Hello, Michelle, uh, Don Alderman here. Oh, Don, you can imagine what a night I've had. A total disaster. Well, it could always be worse. And in this case, I'm afraid it is. What? What are you talking about? Sorry to inform you that as of midnight tonight, your liquor license is void. What? You've got to be kidding me! Hank put you up to this, didn't he? No, he didn't. I mean, what? Who, who's Hank? There's a Hank in town? He's got you wrapped around his little finger. Look, Michelle, we received an anonymous complaint from Barbara that one of your staff was serving wine to minors who were posing as big boys. No, Don, it didn't happen like that. I'm sorry, Michelle, there's nothing I can do. Yes, there is. I know, but I'm not going to. <gasps> if you're enjoying your meal, why not hit like, comment, and subscribe.